so when I found out I was going to be a dad, I wanted, obviously, to set up his room and get some, some cool stuff for it. And one of the things I was looking at was nightlights. And they had ones that would project stars in the ceilings with little nightlights. Um, one thing led to another, and basically I ended up getting a home planetarium for him, for his, his room. And he's had this now for some time. Um, and it, the, it's great for when we're trying to get him to relax and go to bed. And initially I was a little bit um, apprehensive because of the price tag, because ultimately all this thing is, is a projector. It's got a little lens here, and even though it's cool, it's, it's kind of a one trick pony because you can buy these little discs that go with it <clears throat> and it projects it under the ceiling. But a couple of things about these. First of all, they're hard to get um, and they're not that cheap. And the thing is, is I've looked in a lot of these I've found online are scams. This one is called, I think, Hidden Cotton, and this happens to be the um, current favorite. Um, and he's nine months old now, and he, you can tell he's just mesmerized by the stars when you put it on, you get him ready for bed, and you're giving him his bottle. Um, so this is basically my go-to nightlight for him. I know it's a bit overkill, but you put it in here like so, and it comes with... I think it's two, I believe. One is just the Milky Way, which is also pretty cool. But like I said, we got the the, the one with the galaxy or the nebulas and stuff on it. This one, like I said, is uh, I think called Moving Continent. I'll post the link below. But anyways, you put in the disc like this, and then you can focus the lens and get it crystal clear so on a eight foot ceiling my son's room is about 11 by 10 and it fills the whole ceiling full of stars so there's a couple things about this one first of all there's another there's another model that just isn't as bright um, this is a lower end model this is the flux um, the flux one I think there's another one um, but I'll post the links for this one uh, just to keep it clear but this one has, and I believe the other one has also a sleep timer. So this, this was like crucial uh, to getting it. Because like I said, I put it for my son when he goes to bed and it turns off automatically. Now if you don't set the sleep timer, it will turn off, but it takes like, I think it's a couple hours, which I have done that too when he was, when I stayed up with him at night when he was having a tough time sleeping when he was real, real young. Um, when you get it to move, it just kind of rotates, which is also cool. The shooting star, First of all, the shooting star is in the same spot, um, and it's it's very um, like it's just done like a pattern, like a cycle, little cardboard thing in there, and it doesn't look anything like a shooting star. And then obviously the power button. So, like I said, it if you if your goal is to just get stars, this is very cool, but um, it's not gonna do anything else. It does that one thing very good, and that's it. And when it says home planetarium, one thing about it also that kind of bugs me is I don't think these sky maps are very accurate. Well, of course, you're not going to expect it to be, but for the price tag, you kind of almost would expect it to be at least a little bit accurate. The Milky Way does look like the Milky Way, but this other, this other one just looks cool. It has nothing to do really with any um, night sky that I know of, um, as well as the other ones that I've seen. But there are some discs out there that I hear don't fit and they're kind of scams. But as far as um, a nightlight, this has got to be like the coolest nightlight I've ever I've ever seen. Um, so you just set it on the floor, in my case, right in front of his crib, out a little bit. Uh, the other thing to look out for is then obviously because it's on the floor. Remember it's there, so if you go in there at night and it's dark and the thing's shut off, you can't kick it. So just one thing to keep in mind. Um, and obviously when you angle it, it'll distort the stars. That's kind of a no-brainer. Um, but if you do it just a little bit, it's okay. So, maybe a little bit overkill, but I figure, hey, if the kid turns out to be an astronaut someday, it's probably because of his nightlight that he had when he was growing up. That's what I think. Let me know what you think in the comments below, if it's overkill. Uh, I think he's going to get a lot of use out of it. It is well made, so I do expect it to last a long time. I think it feels very sturdy. And the, 
the stars, like I said, they're like a high quality stars. All the other ones that I was looking at, the regular nightlights, they look like kind of childish stars. But for us, I put on the, the stars, I put it on an audiobook, and it actually is very calming, very relaxing. Uh, a lot of adults that have come over and seen his, his bedroom stars kind of have said, oh, I'm gonna get a home planetarium. But like I said, for the price tag, it is a very expensive nightlight, but I happen to think it's worth it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you've got one, if you've tried it out, and we'll talk to you next time.